In this video, we will present you Hume Actions. Actions are custom queries saved in Hume that allow the end users to run simple or complex queries on their data with the click of a button. We are currently doing an investigation on a known criminal named Billy Moore. We are trying to find potential accomplices. We begin by searching for him and returning him to the canvas. We can see the related information of Billy Moore in his properties and see he has been marked as a criminal. Expanding his relationships show the crimes that he has participated in, as well as the people that he knows. Among them, we see Lillian Martinez, who is also marked as a criminal, easily recognized from the red dot on her node. In the Action tab, we can see a list of our saved actions. These are separated based on scope, it is possible to create and perform actions for the canvas or on either single or multiple nodes. There are different types of results that an action may return. For example, this action returns a color-coded chart of the type of crime and dates. Or this action is a histogram of the total number of crimes per date. Hume can also return tables, which you can modify their pagination, or export as CSV or Excel sheets. It is also possible to retrieve other types such as pie charts and select what columns to show. Let's go back to our investigation. By right-clicking on a node, we see an option with the list of local actions, and gold stars are our favorites for quicker access. Let's run the first action on Billy. This action requires a number of days as input, and then it returns a table with all the calls made from the selected person, before or after a crime in the given time window. We filled in eight days and we can see Billy has called Virginia three times during that interval. We have prepared a separate action to get a person's calls and return them on the canvas. This action shows a preview panel, which allows us to see all the results and select specific ones to return. In this case, we want the calls with Virginia Allen, so we can select only those. Add them to the canvas to discover the results. We found the first potential accomplice through actions. Let's see if we can find more. Now we'll use Advanced Expand to show how easy it is to create new actions from scratch. The goal is to find criminals that have acted in the same area as Billy. We're selecting a path that connects them through their crimes in the same location. Advanced Expand automatically generates the Cypher query so we can copy it and create an action from it. To create an action, click Add New Action. Firstly, label it with an appropriate name based on the results of the action, like criminals in the same area. Then select the scope and return type of the action, in this case, local and preview. As it is a local action, we also select at what type of node it will apply, so person. Paste the previously generated cipher code and use Hume Helper parameter to add the ID of the selected node not just the specific ID. Now we can right-click on Billy Moore again and run the action we just created. Once again, it shows a preview of the returned results. And now we select all and add them to the canvas. There are two results from whom we already knew they are connected and Craig Marshall. Let's find out if Billy and Craig know each other. We do this through multi-select action, which returns the shortest path between the two selected nodes. Once we run an action, we see that they are indeed connected through Anne Freeman and Lillian. There is no information shown about Anne on the canvas, so let's try to retrieve that. We run another saved action that returns the criminals connected to the selected person. Unexpectedly, she is not marked as a criminal, though it seems she is connected to a lot of other criminals. We have uncovered a hidden and potentially dangerous connection related to Billy Moore, and we can create a hypothesis link through an action to indicate said connection. This is how easy it is to use actions in Hume or even create ones from scratch without any coding knowledge.
actions empower analysts, investigations in multiple ways, allowing them to do complex analysis on their data with a simple click of a button. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, take a look at hume.graphaware.com to learn more about the power of graphs and Hume.